guys, what's going on? Welcome to another segment of Vaping with Mike. So, today, I just did a review on the top five mods, dual and single battery mods of 2016. There's a link right here for it. It's on this side. Yeah, there we go. So, I promised you also the top five tanks of 2016. And we're going to go in order with these from five to one. So, some of these might not quite be expected, but here we go. Without further ado, number five on the list is the Mal's tank. This thing is superb for clouds, decent on the flavor, awesome airflow. Now, reason it takes number five, by the way, top fill. I did a review on this. If you, I'll post a link here to my review on this reason it took top five is it doesn't work on every mod it doesn't sit flush on every mod um like the alien for instance you thread this thing down the whole way into the alien and it pushes that 510 too far down because it has a very very it sticks out a lot also there was a lot of leak issues with these things that is why it took number five because it's hard to get it to seal to leak now the newer ones are updated a little bit so it's not quite as bad but again, it doesn't sit on every mod correctly. So, that's why it's number five. <clears throat> now, let's take number four. Number four is going to be the Big Baby Beast. Big Baby Beast, reason it's taking number four. Awesome, awesome design. Coils are great. You have a very wide selection of coils. It doesn't quite come up to par with the other three tanks that I have, but it is a great tank airflow is awesome on it and you know I can't really say much negative about it tank does go through a lot of juice and it's not a very high juice capacity so that's reason it's number four but again it's a great tank number three on the list the limitless XL tank great great tank I love the flavor on this thing I love the airflow on this thing the coils are good. The rebuildable units are really nice. That is a perk with this. That's the reason it took number three. The coils, the rebuildable sections are awesome. That's cool. The chip coils have a little bit of issues. You get a lot of duds when you buy the chip coils. That is a downfall because you're spending so much money on a set of coils and you're not going to know if they all work or not yet. <laughs> but other than that, I mean, it does have a little bit of a seepage of leak issues right here. And the problem with the airflow on the bottom then is it leaks directly down in your 510 pin and you have the chance of shorting out your box. But other than that, I mean, I would recommend this any day. I have mine. I vape on mine. By the way, I have every single tank here that I'm going to do this review on plus some. So, but yeah, so that's number three on the list. Number two on the list is the Tobacco Super Tank Mini. This in particular one is the Gold Edition. The Gold Edition is nice because it comes with a lot of different features. But yeah, this is number two on the list. The Tobacco Super Tank Mini. Now, reason it's taking number two and not first place. By the way, the Super Tank Mini, awesome flavor. I mean, it's probably one of the best flavor tanks out there on the market today, in my opinion. And a lot of customers say the same thing. Now, with the gold one, they did change a lot of stuff, so it's a little bit better. The reason it takes number two, the coils are hard sometimes to get apart. You know, you really fight with this. They even give you an Allen wrench to put in the middle here to unscrew the coil. It can be difficult. The top, now this one, again, it's updated, it's better, it's metal. The top are plastic. They break. They get too tight. You grab a hold of them, they can break off when it's hot. So, that's the downfall with this. You know, you have only two coil selections for this thing. You have the 0.5 and the 0.2. But again, flavor is amazing on this thing. So, now we do top tank on the market in my book of 2016. The TFV8. <clears throat> I was a little, when this first came out, I was a little hesitant on it. Now, a lot of people complain about a leak issue. 
here's one thing I'm going to tell you with the TFE8. On the coil it says best at, now this is the 8 coil in here, it says best at 120 to 180. A lot of people are running it at the lower end of that best at range or below that. That causes a flood out and leak condition. If you run it where it's supposed to be, uh, you know, like 150, I run mine around 150 to 175. Never had a leak issue with it whatsoever. It is a bit of a pain in the butt to fill the top if you're using 120s. I will warn you of that. But, again, that is how you fix the leak issue. Run a coil. Now you have a wide selection of coils. If you want to run a lower wattage, then put a Q4 coil in it. Or the T4 or whatever it is. Because you can run down to 90 watts. You have to run this around the higher end of your wattage. It does suck through juice. I will tell you that. But, best clouds, best flavor, hands down, out of anything I've tried, and I've tried them all. So, that is what I have. Again, TFE8, number one in my book. So, next up is going to be the top kits, starter kits of 2016. And I'm still waiting to do this review on the R or the uh, Wismec RX 300. It's going to take some time because I got to do a little bit of playing with it, and, you know. That way I can give you the right features about it. So it's Mike with Smooth Vapes. You guys have a wonderful day. Stay tuned for my other reviews. Every single one of these tanks, except for the Super Tank Mini, I've done a review on. Please enjoy them. Check them out and like and share this and subscribe for more videos. Goal is 10,000 views. If I reach that or beyond, we're gonna start working with some cool mysteries. So, it's Mike with Smooth Vapes. Have a good day. I will see you in my next video.